hi guys welcome back to my channel um, I am here today to share a group swap that I participated in um, and it is for Tiffany McGill's coffee cake and crafting Facebook group um, they have I believe they have monthly swaps um, and this month the swap was an elevated die cut swap and there were several uh, parts to it. it was a pretty simple swap um, it was a make three receive two one goes to the hostess um, you don't know who you are paired with um, the requirements were let's see five different shapes um, you could use punches your electronic die cutting machine your traditional die cutting machine four of each of the five shapes um, if you had small ones then of course you would provide more than four um, use at least 65 pound cardstock or pattern paper include information on the shape um, and I printed that out I need to <laughs> now that I'm looking back over my notes I need to go back and add that into um, into my boxes um, uh, two spring day three by three cards with envelopes the cards have to include one layer two embe embellishments and finished insides and one handmade goodie so those were the swap requirements. Um, I have already packaged up two of mine and I left the last one unopened or unpackaged so that I could share it with you all. But these are my two packaged swaps and sorry about the crinkling and the glare. Um, I decided to uh, share mine on clipboards so these are the clipboards and I just used some of the pattern paper um, that I used on my die cuts and I put my little sticker on the back um, and I'll share more later but my handmade goodie is the uh, hoop dangle um, since it was a spring theme I did this one spring grow and I think the other one says bloom but this is how I am packaging them again I need to go back and add my information on the die cuts I have that printed out I just need to open these back up and add them back in now as for what I am including this is the oops this is the third one so yeah that one says bloom and on my um clipboards I kept them pretty simple I thought of doing a shaker but decided against it so I just used an embossing folder and I believe this embossing folder came from Joanne um, so I just used an embossing folder um, on these and why is this flipped around now it keeps flipping um, on some regular 65 pound cardstock I used some gold thread to stitch around the edge on that my dangle um, I just used a hoop um, spelled out the word bloom used uh, some of the colors that I used uh, on my die cuts added a butterfly charm and called it good for my handmade goodie so that's that and I also put my little sticker on the back of this one um, as for my die cuts I I don't know if everybody else in the swap had the same problem but I had a problem deciding what die cuts to use so I cut out way more than what was required um so I am including this bag of what I'm calling extras it's quite a bit in here um so I have some of and I'm not going to take these little small ones out but I have um, my Martha Stewart one of my Martha Stewart butterfly punches this one here um I punched that out in uh white mint and pink glitter cardstock as well as just plain cardstock white mint and pink as well um one of the dies that i just hauled from aliexpress not too long ago uh, was those little small those mini uh, those mini um bag toppers so i cut those out and I included I think at least three of each shape so these were not a part of um, my actual swap swap because I only included three of each shape so they get in three of those um, <clears throat> some of the 
little mini doilies that I used in uh, my Happy Meal swap that I loved the little heart the bow doily the little mini bow doily um, and then this one actually has a butterfly so I, I cut this out in some glitter cardstock but you see that butterfly on there and I did not realize it I did not do it intentionally <laughs> but um, I realized that I um, went with a the butterfly theme so once I realized like a lot of the things that I chose uh, had butterflies on them I just ran with it um, these could be a part of the regular swap because I did include four of each of those. Um, another die that I just hauled from Allie was uh, that set of four banners and I just cut out a bunch of these. I just ran, I kept the four dies together and I just ran it through um, my Sizzix on every piece of paper. <laughs> Um, and cardstock that I used uh, in the swap and then I just mixed them up so that everybody got a little bit of every type of paper so there's a bunch of those I think there's at least like three each of those and then I love wreath dies for layering um, so I included three each of um, two of my wreath dies so some of them I cut out in glitter cardstock, some of them plain cardstock. So everybody got a little bit of everything. So that is the extras that I am including. So let's get those bagged back up. Uh, all right, get in there. I'll figure it out later. Um, the two three by three cards, again, carrying on, sorry about the crinkling, carrying on with the butterfly theme. Um, I used several, because three by three cards, the landscape is so small on those, you have to get creative um, with decorating these. So we just had to have one layer and I think two embellishments and then decorate the inside. So, these are my cards my three by three cards oh those are there for you guys um and i used a reverse scallop die um for this gold border um and behind that i backed it with a piece of plain white cardstock but i used one of my piercing cover plates um, just to give it some interest in dimension and then I use another one of my Martha Stewart uh, butterfly punches this one here that gives you like the little small and then the little mini butterflies um, so I punch that out um, with gold and mint and pink cardstock and then the inside I just use one of my nestabilities uh, square dies from spellbinders to cut that out and then I decorated it with um, a layered uh, butterfly again using this same punch and just alternated the colors um, as for the make sure I got how did I have this eh, I think I had it like this um, I also made the envelopes using my envelope punch board and then I decorated the outside of the envelope um, again I just punched um, a bunch of those butterflies so those are my cards. Um, now on to the actual die cuts. Um, I had an idea. I wanted to do something like boxes. I, I, originally, I was going to do boxes, bags, and bows, but decided to leave the bows out of it. Um, so I went with these butterfly tags and these are from KS Craft, um, but I cut them out and again, um, just different pattern papers, glitter cardstock, plain cardstock, um, and not everyone gets the same cardstock. So I mixed those up as well. I made sure everyone got like at least one glitter cardstock, one gold foil, one pattern paper, um, and one plain cardstock tag for those 
Um, and then I had these uh, butterfly square frames and I think they come in a set of three or four. So I just chose the smallest one. I mean, I think I cut like five of these because <laughs> I was just finding space. If I had space on the piece of cardstock I was working with, I just stuck whatever die was handy on there um, because no wasted cardstock um, in this swap. So everybody gets five of these. And again, the same thing I tried to um, include. If you didn't get a glitter cardstock piece you got the full gold foil piece um and then you know other pattern paper with gold foil accents another just plain pattern and then plain cardstock so those are those two tags so those are two of my official die cuts um and then i had this uh butterfly bag i think it's bag box i think they label it as a box on amazon i got it from amazon um so i cut this out um and the score lines are on there i don't want to mess with this one i did cut out some extras Let's see if i can find one of that particular die i cut out some extras because i'll probably be including this in some rack or happy mail or maybe a giveaway or something that i do um but the lines are scored so you just fold along the score lines and again I'm not using a bone folder on this so this is like a rough a rough tutorial on how to put this bag together <laughs> all right so yeah come on so there you would glue that down there, that down there. Forgot to score this little piece over here. Uh, they're like less than a quarter inch, so they're tiny. Um, but you get the gist of it. <laughs> I'm not gonna glue it down because again, I'll probably use this on Happy Mail or um, gifting it to in a rack or something. Um, but that's this little butterfly box slash bag again i think they label it as a box on amazon which is where i got it from and then i have this candy box um and this is i realized that and this is another ks craft i <laughs> something else i realized i buy a lot of dyes from ks craft um but this is another ks craft die and um when i went back trying to find the information on you know where about the dyes and who the brand was um i found out that they actually came out with a newer version of this and the newer version has um the piece that allows you to cut the um the layering piece that goes on the outside of the window my version does not have that but it's a rectangle so you could easily you know make your own just take some measurements and i would say give it like an eighth of an inch uh border um or add an eighth of an inch to uh all four sides um, and then cut out the middle and you'll have your border if you want one um so i included i think five each of these because again if i had space on my piece of cardstock i was sticking a die on there um so I think everyone has five each of these boxes. And again, you have some gold foil. I did not cut out the boxes in um, the glitter cardstock, but I did cut it out in some of the gold foil cardstock. So you have five of these to play around with. And last but not least, I was determined to use my Cricut um, on at least one of the die cuts that I shared. Um, and this one is the one that I decided to um, use for the bag because I don't really have any bag dies. Um, so I went in there and I found, I went into Cricut Design Space um, and looked at some of the uh, cartridges that I had linked to my Cricut. And one of the cartridges is the um, tags, bags and boxes, I think is the name of the cartridge. But they had this circle bag die. Um, I have folded it up just so that it could fit in here. And 
I tried to make it as big as I could in order for it to fit in the space of um, how I wanted to package mine. So it's the circle part of the bag is a little bigger than three inches. Um, I also included the layering pieces to go on the inside just for added stability. And the layering piece is three inches, so it's slightly smaller than the actual bag. You may have to cut off like a little sliver at the bottom um, once you put the bag together. Um, but it's a fairly simple die. Again, um, you're just gonna fold down and I don't wanna do this to what I'm actually giving away to one of my swap partners. Um, but you fold these little tabs in um, and you attach them to the bag going up to here. Um, I would suggest folding the tabs in and gluing them to the outer part of the bag first and then using your layering piece and that way you will cover up the tabs on both sides and I included um, two for each bag so and I think depending on the pattern that you have in in your particular swap um, you have either white or pink uh, pieces to go in there but again these are three inch circles so you can take your circle dies or your die cut machine and make more if you don't like the colors that I included um so that is my swap um that is what I am sending to my partners I hope everyone likes what I put together I tried to do something that I don't see a lot of people use that was the other thing because we all have a lot of the same dies so I tried to use some that I did not see a lot of people using um, plus some fairly newer ones um, uh, from my more recent AliExpress haul um, again thank you Tiffany um, for hosting these swaps they are so fun to participate in I love getting die cuts um, from other people because I don't own all the dies uh, my husband would probably disagree with me, <laughs> but I don't own all the dies. Um, so this is a great way to see what everyone else has. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you have already subscribed, if you have not, please take the time to go ahead and do so. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, let me know if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see from me in the future. Um, so far, I don't have any swaps lined up for the month of April. Um, but I'm sure that will probably change. I'd probably want to do a one-on-one -on -one swap. I, I'm going to limit myself to one group swap, um, every other month. Um, that tends to be my limit with the group swaps. Um, but a one-on-one -on -one swap, I'd definitely be open to for the month of April. So tune in to see what I'm doing in the craft room. I am doing some scrapbooking. So hopefully I have some layouts to share with you guys soon. Um, aside from that, thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.